Fuck you. <laughs> Richie, why did you buy so much taffy? Well, I was going to share it. He's run out of jelly beans. No, I, I still have jelly beans. Us. No, I'm not luring children. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... The sharing. You are a child nice. also, to be fair, so it wouldn't really be yeah. luring children. That's like... Yeah, but none of us are that. Like, I'm I'm 15, so like, you, and I think I'm the second oldest, right? So... You like I think you might be tied with someone, yeah. I'm 15 as well. I'm a, I'm a 16, but I'm like a yeah. I'm like a homeschooled 16. <laughs> we're missing, we're missing 14. That's what this. Home what does that mean? I'm a homeschool. Uh, a homeschooled 16 is like mature in some ways, but in other ways, completely naive. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's like I dress like an adult, but then like not sure how to handle complex emotional situations. He has the emotional depth of a teaspoon, basically. <laughs> You can drown in a teaspoon. <laughs> it's just got to be a really big okay. teaspoon. Back to the action. <laughs> <clears throat> so after you guys leave the taffy shop, firework shop, pick back Felix up, you see that the path directly across is blurry. But the path to your left is not. Do you go left or do you go back into Knock Knock Alley? I've seen anybody walking by occasionally anybody interesting that kept going you didn't see anybody like particularly standoutish that has been walking around here just kind of weirdos everybody's kind of a weirdo here some people are walking around in robes you saw one guy actually that was dressed up like uh like an angel uh, a lot of eyes wandered around but uh it was obviously just like paint why would an angel be walking around here that doesn't make any sense all right, so that uh, sounds cool. Sounds like he's going to a fun party. <clears throat> that guy just kind of floated through here very quickly earlier. It went down the left path. Yeah, it just kind of continues on to the left for a little while. Well, we can go that way if you want, but uh, I pull out uh, one of my boxes of taffy and I eat a couple pieces. Go ahead and roll a D100. Sure. 11. The piece of toffee that you have selected, uh, the first piece of toffee is banana flavored. Go ahead and give me another D100 if you're going to eat two pieces. Sure. 57. Uh, a 57 is kiwi. Oh, that sounds that delicious. That does. <laughs> Anyone yeah. else want one? What time is it? It is currently um, about 9.50 in the evening. I have a question. Yes. If school doesn't start for another couple of months where are we staying yeah that's a good question do we need boarding i guess you guys haven't really found any abodes yet i mean if that's our that's our objective right and it's 9 50 at night there's probably some dangerous people around here that you know everything is very lit it. up it's not uh there's no dark <laughs> alleyways or anything here i mean there might be people sneaking around offering you candy i mean connor's here <laughs> He's a sneaky candy type. I think my prerogative is let's find the school. Let's okay. find the school, and then perhaps there'll be some pamphlets about where we will be staying and if we're here too early. Do you go down the left path, or do you go back into Knock Knock Alley to try and get back to the square? I'm going to gamble and say that this is... A Lost Woods type scenario where if we turn right, we'll end up back at the start anyway. Well, if we reverse it, maybe we'll get back right, right forward. If that doesn't work, then you do left, left, back. Up, down, up, down, left, right, A, B, A, B, select, start. Okay. There is a path to your left that is fully articulated. That There seems like there's more shops and stuff down that way. So you could go that way, you could go this way. Or where you want to go? I want to hear from everybody. I, want to, I think the square would probably have the best clear-cut directions for new students to follow to get where they need to be versus a questionable path of mysterious direction. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, at the very least, the tavern may have uh, places for us to sleep. And that's not far from the square. And it, if we go towards the blurry way, it would be a gamble whether it's taking us back or not. So, I mean, not the blurry way. Uh, yeah, no. I don't know. 
So there's the side path, and then there's you can re-enter Knock Knock Alley and try down the blurry paths. Say we should at least try the path that we're at right now. Yeah, those are we could probably turn around, hopefully, maybe. <laughs> it is lit up after all. Sure. I'm down with some adventure. Down the side path, the side path. You walk down into an area. There's a set of stairs after a short, maybe 100 yards worth of alley that leads down into a courtyard kind of area with a large tree growing in the center. Do you go down the stairs? Sure. I want to know more about the tree. Okay. Let's think about that for a second. You can give me... I mean, any, anybody who wants to can try and brains out that tree. That's yeah, why fine. not? <laughs> okay, Felix, Connor, go ahead and take adversity tokens. As far as you can tell, uh, the tree is a tree. Uh, Raven, take uh, an adversity token. Is a tree, it's a tree, it's a tree. I guess I can try. If you like. Um, I like trees. I just do stack, correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay, go ahead and take adversity token. Uh, let's see. Is Tatsu going to try? Is the only one who hasn't tried. Are you going to try too? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, take Damn. an adversity token. Um, so I want to spend two of my adversity tokens if I can to make his a six, because mine do extra, I believe, is one of the strengths that I got. Uh, if you give it to somebody else, that's fine. So I'll spend and... two of mine to bump okay. his up to six. That's fine. The DC's five. The tree is a crooked yew tree. You know that the tree itself is poisonous. Every part of the tree is poisonous outside of the fruit on the outside of the seed, the red fruit. Every other part of the U is a dangerous thing to touch. You can even absorb the poison through your skin. It's very dangerous. But you see, more importantly, that the U tree is at the center of a magic circle. And the magic circle seems to be a circle of rebirth. Glad I, uh, glad I inquired about the tree. <clears throat> the circle seems to be just ambient. It doesn't seem to affect anything that anybody might, like, enter the circle. It seems to just be something that keeps the tree alive. The tree itself doesn't look that old, but if you, as you kind of get closer to examine the tree in, in like, a more in-depth manner, you understand that the tree is ancient. To your right, as you enter this area, there is a sign that says, To the Bunny Run. Behind you, there is a sign that says, To the Knock Knock Alley. These are the like, only two exits to this courtyard. I feel like we should go back to Knock Knock Alley at this point. I think that would be wise. Yeah. I mean, I've heard things about the Bunny Ranch. I'm not sure I'm ready for it. The Bunny Range? <clears throat> Is it bunny Ranch. Isn't that what you said the sign said? The We're Bunny go... Run. Oh, sorry. Um, don't forget there was a, that strange Bunny Man thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where he is. So I'm not going to go that way. <laughs> You've already met other Fae that are just like totally just like there, just hanging out. You yeah, don't need to be so scared of everything, guys. Yeah, but the bunny man was a creeper. The bunny man kind of, he just felt like a guy in an overcoat. Like, yeah, it's okay to trust a stranger, but when a guy in an overcoat walks up to you and is like, what did you say your name was? <laughs> Remind me to ask somebody what the hell a bunny run is the next time we're in, uh, like, a shop or something. Did you say that aloud? Yes. A statue leans out of its alcove and shifts itself towards you, and you hear its voice gravelly and thick. What is the bunny run, you say? It is a forest, an alley, 
in a place of nature, things of names and no names. Everything connects. If you walk the run, you will come to the square. If you do not walk the run, you will come to the square. If you walk too far on the run, you will come to the house and you will meet the daughter. Should you not, maybe you still meet the daughter. The statue leans back into its alcove and moves no more. Thank you. Tetsuo, this weird sense of animation, uh, you feel tug at you. You feel as this, this information wouldn't have been exposed to you if you were not, uh, you know, possessed by this sort of oracle aspect. Hell yes. Did they, did the people around me see this, this as well? No one else saw this. I know they ain't gonna believe me if I tell them I can just see the future. Mm-hmm. So, I'm gonna say, I think we need to get out of here. I think a place called Bunny Run at dark is dangerous for, for us. You see there is a fire at the top of the stairs at the Bunny Run, fresh lit, as you were all standing here talking. Ooh. Yeah, it's time for us to go, guys. Let's, let's go. Not that I'm scared. We're not, I'm not scared. I just... We should go. Yes. You come upon Knock Knock Alley. It's about 10.30 or so. Path is blurry. What direction should you go? So we did left, left, back, left, left, back. We need to reverse that. So I think forward, right, right. We're already in the alley. Oh, we're in the blurry part. Are we? I thought we were just back in the regular part of the alleyway. Well, if we turned right out of here... No, we turned... Did we turn right or left out of the shop when we left it? You walked backward and wound up in this place. So wouldn't that mean we need to go forward first, just to reset us back to where we were at the shop? Yeah, so forward, right, right is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Forward to start with. Forward, right, right. Yep. The first half of your walk you think might go according to plan. But as you take your second right, you have walked into a section of alley that is beyond disrepair falling into itself, crumbling, covered in moss. The vines here have withered and died. This is a blighted area. The air is thick with ash. Do you move forward or go back? Bad idea, I think we go back. My last idea didn't go so good, so I'll follow him. Okay. Maybe we do need to go left unless, instead. Unless one of the girls speaks up and chooses a direction, because I'm starting to lose faith in our, uh, in our uh, men's ability to direct. Hey, well, I definitely thought at least one right, but then don't we have to turn around after that? Yeah, could be. So we can take the left to get back to that area and then turn around. Yeah, I think we went run right too many. Okay. So yeah. Mm. I think. So I guess we go left to get back into that area then to negate that right. Yeah, and then... Then turn around. As you walk, the ruins become more stable. Vines begin growing again. You walk into an area that you had been in before, but all the shops here are closed. Is very much the middle of the night. Where do you go? Left, right, or forward? Hey, we just need to go left, like originally it had us do. If you want to try and use your brains to get back to uh, an area you have been 
in before, you can. It will be a high DC. Uh, a 10. Yes, go ahead and do your explosion. 12 will do it. I was going to ask if I could magic brain for my vision that I had. Try to interpret it if meeting the daughter was a warning or just a prediction. Yes. You can go ahead and roll brains with your magic. Uh, try and figure that out. Uh, an eight will be fine. That is not five above. Uh, it is a prediction. It is not a warning. Okay. Connor, you manage to weave yourself into the blur and kind of coax the blur with your own, you know, understanding. And you manage to step with your compatriots into the alley. Oh, there we go. The alley is darkened. There are still lights on, but there are very few places open. The tavern in the center of the alley, over on the wall, is open, but most of their windows are shuttered. Do you go into the tavern? That's the only place that's visibly open? There are other places, but that is the largest and most noisy. We are children. We do not belong in a tavern. Yeah. Duh, what other buildings are open? There is a bookshop, the same bookshop with the seven armed gentlemen, mm -hmm. the administration building down the way, and the train station are all open. Did we go to the administration building? I can't remember. We have not. No. So that maybe was... we should go there and then possibly train station. Yeah, that was that was my plan to go after the first shop, but like we got sidetracked getting our other okay, well, materials. Yeah. We got everything we need, so we should be able to sign up for our class stuff, yeah? It's midnight, I mean, but we're good. Yeah, let's do it. So, at the stroke of midnight, you all walk into the administration building, the alley. There are no end of people shuffling about, cleaning things, doing, you know, work. You don't see a lot of people standing around doing any kind of paperwork. Do you approach any of the individuals cleaning? We could ask one of the people here. I don't know about that. They're just workers. They got a job to do. Sure, I'll, I'll go up to one. Sorry to bother you, sir, but uh, see no one's doing any paperwork or anything. Do you know of a place where we might stay till morning? What? Oh! Yeah, uh, 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 hold on, I got a, a pamphlet in my pocket, uh, here you go. The front of the pamphlet says, um, new to the alley? Question mark, question mark, exclamation point. And it's a three-part fold-out thing, it's got some stuff on the back, and it folds out again for like a big map of the alley. He says, you know, I can't really do anything right now, we're kind of busy, but... You come back in the morning, and we'll take care of anything you need. Yes, yes, and uh, where can we stay? Oh, it's all on the map, son. Have fun storming the castle, guys. Uh, and he kind of shuts the door behind you as you leave. What's a map, son? <laughs> God damn it. On the map is a set of instructions to go down Knock Knock Alley to access a magic hotel. It's also lists a couple of things to never, ever, ever do. One of which is to never walk right twice. It does not specify why. Just ever, it says never walked right twice. We definitely did that. So do you guys go to the hotel? Why not? Okay. Three rights, but none of them after the other. Two lefts and a spin, and you are all at the hotel. You see Charles Vittervain hanging out in the lobby, and uh, Charles lights up and says, Oh, hey, what are you kids doing here? Is... Well, it's a little too late, so we need a room. You need a room? I mean, oh, uh, okay, yeah, uh, sure. We'll set you guys up with some rooms. 
Uh, I assume we need to stop by the administration building in the morning, yes? Oh, for your classes? I mean, most of your classes are already set up. It's more really for, you know, registration and stuff and getting the blocks put in and doing all that. I mean, that's... You don't really have to do that young as you all are. I mean, that's more of like a, you hit 18 and you got to go do it. So, you know, I mean, I would register as a traffic magic man. Either that or we just go to the school. Look, uh, uh, let let me put it this way. I don't think any of you kids are bad eggs, you know. Even your goblin friend there. The government puts a lot of tracking in your magic, okay? They know what you cast, when you cast, as soon as you're an adult. No reason to give them any reason to do that when you're kids, okay? Charles hands you each a key and says, this is magic to you, okay? As long as you don't put it next to your cell phone, it'll work for the next however long you're here, okay? Breakfast is in the morning at 6 o'clock. We only serve breakfast for an hour. After that, we start serving lunch immediately at 7 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Deal with it. All right. Um, Connor's going to go up to his room and be ready to get up a little before 6, so he's ready for breakfast. So uh, anybody else want to do anything before they hit the sack? So how many rooms did we get? Are we all staying in individual rooms? you are all got your own rooms. Okay. Start up writing up a petition for brunch hour. <laughs> The next morning, you get some breakfast laid out. Does anybody get up for breakfast other than Connor? I guess I'd get up for breakfast. Okay, Sabine's getting up. Anybody else? I'd get up for breakfast. Getting up for breakfast. Felix, getting up for breakfast. Anybody sure. else going to... Okay, Raven's up for breakfast. Rush down and be too late, and then just get a ham sandwich because I was late. Makes sense. Good old Tatsuo. Uh, they serve a full English breakfast. One plate is free. A second plate you have to pay for Come on, man. I'm only five minutes late. Can you just put an egg on that sandwich for me? No. We stopped cooking eggs an hour ago. Okay. We've been we've been working on this fucking barbecue sandwich. This American barbecue sandwich for like a year and a half. <laughs> and it's finally ready. So I want to fucking eat it, okay? It's seven o'clock in the morning. I'll take one of them. Hey, you gotta pay for that. No, no, it's not. You gotta pay for that. Well, how much is it? Uh, fucking five copper for a sandwich. Yeah, sure. He hands you a barbecue pulled pork sandwich covered in a Mississippi-style sauce, which, of course, is made out of mayonnaise, but, you know, you can't really be picky. Yeah. Can I get some extra mayonnaise on this? No. It's extra. <laughs> Do you guys go to the administration building, or do you go to the train station? Well, she made it sound like there was no point, Charles, so uh, I vote train station. Yeah, I'd say train station. Before before we head that way, I'm going to tell them all, I'm going to say, hey, just before we go there, you all want to check out that bunny shit? Why should we? Uh, I got a feeling... That I think I think we should go there. We're supposed to. I got a feeling. What is, does the does the pamphlet say anything about this uh, bunny ranch? I'll pull out the pamphlet and I'll examine it. Uh, the map of Bunny Run uh, leads far from the alley into the primal Eldwild. The Eldwild is an area of primal forest. No one knows exactly how old this place is, but everyone knows that it is the first place that anyone has ever produced magic. The alley was built off of the Eldwild, and the Bunny Run was built specifically to connect everything. In those days, this place stood tall enough to reach the very heavens themselves. Um, the path runs oh, thank you. Uh, into the primal woods um, past a house designated as the House of the Haunted and into the primal forest. This also mentions that the Eldwild butts up to the school, but no one's really walked that path in a very long time. I'm 
still not going to reveal that I had a vision, but I'm going to do my best to try and convince them that that it would be cool. Okay. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to try and play to uh, the the non magical originals. You know, you're already on this magical adventure. Don't you want to see a little more a little more magic before you go back oh. to uh, back to a school, back to a civilization? That's fine, but you can lead the way, Tatsuo. <laughs> you know, I, like calling you out. I, I, I want I want to be cool. I like being cool. So, um, yeah, I'm a badass. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's let's, let's go. Let's go. I'm all, what's there to be afraid of? God, uh, does the, nothing scares me. Ah. Uh, Connor, does the brochure say <laughs> what time the trains leave? If there's more than one, the train leaves twice a day. Um, at 10 a.m. And at 4 p.m., the train goes to upper levels of Valthoon, which is essentially where the entrance hall is, and will come back uh, after unloading all of its cargo and people. We can make it, and if, if we don't make it, we can make the 4 p.m. one. Um, secondly, I would like to maybe do a brains to see what I know about the Eldwild, coming from a magic family. Sure. If uh, I know there's necessarily like anything dangerous there or that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um uh DC of four gets you that's fine. So we're gonna say that you understand that the Eldwild is not really so much dangerous as something you need to be mm, perceptive. You remember asking your mother once, and she essentially said Child, if I have to take you by the ear out of the old wild ever, I'm going to be very upset with you. And that'll be the end of this conversation. So I'll relay that my mother didn't seem to think that was a safe place, but... Sounds like it would be unpredictable and maybe looked at like heathens would be looked at in the 90s by muggles. That's a pretty accurate uh, way of thinking about it. Where do you go? March on. I would try to recreate our original two lefts and back again twice. Well, we have a map. I would assume it tells us how to get to most of these. The bunny run actually connects directly to uh, the alley. Nice, nice. I'll just show you this image again. That's where we met the bunny guy. Yeah. So the rabbit, in the individual in the pink frock is not here. Um, but the bunny run is. I will lead the way if y'all are willing to follow. I guess I'm curious. Yes, I'll follow. I have no idea where I'm going, but given this little information, I'm back to 16-year-old pretending like I know where I'm going, just like making wrong turns and then doubling back without saying anything. As you walk on, you quickly realize that the ruins here are less ruinous. The walls grow tall. Before long, the walls fall away, and you are well and truly in the wood. Before too long, in the undergrowth, a house grows. A round wooden door appears, and a man bent, haggard, with very little hair drooping around his ears, stumbles out and sits on a short chair outside of the house for the haunted. I'm really enjoying it. I want to say this is the most like immersed I've gotten so far, I think. I get like very vivid visuals going through this so far. Uh, the, the house grows out of the undergrowth. The man sits down. Uh, do you uh, approach the individual? I want to wave. Like, hi, hi, sir. Hello. Uh, hi, hey, hi. How are you? Children in the wood. How came you by this place, boy? Hey, old man, you got a daughter? That's yeah. Let's do that. That's um, a great idea. The uh, <laughs> the old man glances at you, and then kind of uh, nods in your direction. And he says, 
there. Look into the brush. Uh, Tatsuo. Yeah. You see. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Pretty. Pretty. Uh, just for a moment, this flashes in your mind's eye. And you could swore that there was something in the brush. But only for a millisecond or so. Wait. Did, did you guys... Never mind. The The direction that I saw that, is there a takeable path? Yes. We've come this far, guys. What do you think? Well, I already told you to lead the way. Why stop now? The old man stretches and says, Well, you're obviously not here to add to the prison. Not today. And he stands up and dusts himself off and says, Be well, young ones. And he opens the door, closes it, and the door sinks back into the ground. Did he say? Did he say prison? He did say prison. But he said. Oh, no, guys. I don't get in trouble. You know, we just got here. Well, I think he was saying his house is a prison. The Bunny Run House for the Haunted is the prison for the magical. Spooky stuff. Marching on in the knowledge that I really can't prevent whatever I've seen, whatever my vision told me is going to happen. So I'm just kind of trying to get it over with. And I am actively scared by these things that are flashing in my eyes, but it's nothing new. Do you continue on? Yeah. yeah. Are any of you guys advising against going on? I already oh, said I'm in I'd trouble. Follow. I mean, I'm going to stick with the group because I don't want to be alone, <laughs> but like, I don't know. This kind of seems like a bad idea. If we numbers. did go further in, I feel like we shouldn't go too much further, but I would be a little bit curious. Um, We've come okay. this far. March on. Okay, let's go. Let's just... Further into the old wild you march, the bunny run fading behind you. Soon you enter a moor, mist clinging to your boots. And on a hill, you see... Pretty. I am intrigued. Nice artwork, might I add. Um, this individual you see is part of the foliage, and yet is not. And you see her drag her dagger of vines down her arms. And you see the moon hovering in the distance turn a blood red and you feel the ground beneath your feet quake and rumble and you look again and she is gone the moon hangs in the sky bulbous and bright so guys uh, let's let's head back I think this is it. This is all there is to see. Let's yeah, let's go. Probably a good idea. Disappearing hotties in the woods is not a good thing. Maybe go to the train station, get a snack before if anyone's hungry. Tetsuo is definitely in love with the uh, elder red forest goddess. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> like a lot. I am super intrigued with this place. <laughs> um, so you've. You all know that you have witnessed something primal. Some feat of magic that is beyond your knowledge. As you all turn to leave this area, whether through fear or awe, each of you passes under a yew tree. Sabine, as you pass under the U, you hear a voice whisper, I see you. Is this the same U tree that we saw in on the street earlier? Uh, this is the same U tree, and as you pass under it, 
you realize that you were passing into the courtyard that you saw earlier. And though you haven't walked down any stairs, behind you is a staircase leading up to a freshly lit fire Mm. under a sign saying, To the Bunny Run. So as you all walk under the yew tree, you wind up back in the courtyard. Sabine, as you walk under the yew tree into the courtyard, you hear a voice say, I see you. I can, like, see what said it, so I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, give me a flight or a grit roll. Oh, jeez, grits. All right, a five. You turn quickly enough to see this set of eyes in the undergrowth before vanishing quickly. Okay. Um, I guess I would ask if anybody else heard that. No one else heard that. Okie dokes. Looks like you had the same vision as Tatsuo though. Apparently someone's got their eye on me for some reason. Get out of there. Nobody litter while we're here. <laughs> well, if we're going back to the train, let's uh, let's do it. Do you all go back to the train? Uh, yeah, I suppose no I'm ready. Yeah, I feel like the train's a good idea. You said there's a path through here somewhere, possibly that might lead to the school, but that feels a little sketchy when we have the girl from Ringu chasing us. <laughs> <laughs> so up to y'all whether you want to try and walk the Eldwild path or go to the train it sounds like most people want to go to the train I like trains it's the, the safer way for sure so you walk of right back through Knock Knock Alley back into the square down the administrative alley and out into Steward's Station 